what is up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can create this candlestick chart and as you can see it's just a regular chart with the wicks at the top and the bottom for the high and lows and the open and close prices and when it goes down it turns red and when it goes up it turns green so i'm going to be showing you how to do this very fast and easily in python so the first thing you want to do is open up python and we have to install a few libraries so the first one is going to be the pandas module then we have to go ahead and install mpl finance and then with that being installed we can close this window and also close the sidebar and the first thing we have to do is import mpl finance as mpf and then we want to import pandas as pd Next, we have to go ahead and create the data that we want to insert. And we're going to be doing this manually to save some time. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can actually retrieve real stock data and insert it. So let's create a variable called raw data, and that's going to be a map. So the first thing we need to specify for our map is a date. And keep in mind that it has to be spelled exactly as you see it with uppercase letters. And this is going to equal pandas. And we need to provide a date time index. And all this does is make it readable for pandas, whatever the date and time is, so that it can process it. And inside here, we need to provide an array. And we're just going to create a few dates, such as 2020, 03, 22. Now let's go ahead and copy that about four or five times, or one, two, three, four, yeah, five times is fine. And just change the day by one for each one of them. So as you can see, now we have five dates there. And the next we should provide an open price. So type in open, and we're going to insert these values such as 15, 10, 12, 14, and 19. Then let's provide a high price. So let's pretend the high is always going to be higher than the opening. So inside here, we will provide another array. So we're going to add 20 for day one, 30 for day two, 25, for day three, 30 again for day four, and finally 20 for day five. And then we need to provide a low price, the lowest point of the day. And inside here, we can write something that's pretty low, such as four, five, six, 10, and five. And finally, the close price. So just to make the graph look nice, I'm going to just copy these values here and paste them right inside here with the final value being 10. You just want to make sure that the keys match and they all have the same amount, the same length of arrays inside each key. So five here, five here, five here, and of course five in the rest. So this is the dummy data that we'll be using. Next, we have to go ahead and create a data frame. And inside here, we will insert the raw data that we have created, and we need to set the index to the date. And this will just make it that the date will be used instead of the 0, 1, 2, 3 that comes by default to list each index. And we need that so we can plot the candlestick data. Then we can call MPF, which is our finance plotting library. And we just have to call plot. We insert the data frame and we specify the type to be of candle. Then we have to provide a style in case you actually want to see green and red. We have to specify that it is a Charles style. The title is gonna be set to stocks. And finally, the Y label is going to be set to price. And then the final thing to do is to call MPF and type in show. And this should handle creating a very basic candle chart. So let's go ahead and right click on the program. And you'll notice that it will take us to our new chart. In the old chart, I had an extra value. That's why you see this over here, but you can add that if you want. All you have to do is go and add an extra date, change this to 27. Open price for this one is going to be 10. The high price is going to be 11. The low price is going to be nine. And the close price is going to be seven this time. All right, let's change this actually to five. And the date should be inside the array, of course. And you'll notice that the new candle that I've added made the stock go down in price, and that covers creating a very basic candlestick chart. 
And as I said, in the next video, we're going to cover how we can actually insert stock data into this so we don't have to provide any dummy data. And that's going to be using an API. So I believe I'll have that out tomorrow. But uh, with that being said, as always, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to look at them. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.